a crisis of crises. Uh, across our entire system, things don't work. Uh, and what you just saw, let's focus narrowly on the Pentagon and the intelligence community. You have in the Secretary of Defense and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, two people who are focused on creating a woke military. Well, we just learned that the greatest 21st century woke military can't defeat a 7th century group of warriors who are willing to die for their cause. Now that should sober us and it should make us think about China, Russia, and Iran, and other countries who are watching this whole process. I mean, Biden either has been kept deliberately ignorant or has such deep cognitive difficulties, he just doesn't get it. But we have reports, for example, that 23 members of the embassy uh, wrote a letter of dissent, which is, by the way, in State Department terms, a very big deal. I mean, you're putting your career on the line to sign a letter like that. They sent it to the Secretary of State. We don't know if the Secretary of State, Lincoln, took it to Biden or not. We don't know if Biden understood it or not. But that letter right. by people who are in Kabul said, this is going to be a disaster. Uh, the president's press conference today, he just kept, now, I, I started to say he's kept lying. But the truth is, I don't know if he knows what the facts yes. are. So it's not, it's not fair to challenge somebody who maybe uh, has significant cognitive problems right. with lying if, in fact, he just doesn't get it. He doesn't understand what's yeah. going on around him. Mr. Speaker. He doesn't understand what you and I see on television. Yeah, let's, uh, there's another uh, comment he made. Let's, uh, let's play this next uh, note here about the cables that have been uh, uh, going around trying to alert them to what's been happening in Kabul. Can you say why, after that cable was issued, the U.S. didn't do more to get Americans out? all kinds of cables, all kinds of advice. If you notice, it ranged from this group saying that they didn't say it'd fall when it would fall, when it did fall, but saying that it would fall to others saying it wouldn't happen for a long time and they'd be able to sustain themselves through the end of the year. So what's strange, even there with, with what you noted, it appears as though he might be slightly aware of it, but then someone has told him that it really doesn't matter because they...